Jay with Hi Gay, my name is Dr. Jay Bright with New Leaf Chiropractic and Family Wellness. And we're getting a lot of people coming in and saying that they're getting back into the running routine after a prolonged absence. And so we're getting a lot of knee pain type stuff. And people want to know if their knee is messed up or something's going on. And there's a couple common stretches that I'm giving them. And you don't necessarily need any tools, but if you've got a lacrosse ball and or a foam roller, this will expedite the process. So one of the most basic things, if, if the hamstrings are tight, so the hamstrings start at the, uh, in the post to the very, very top part of your thigh, and run all the way down just past the knee. Best way that I can tell you to stretch that is just, just kick forward and back, just like this. Now the nice thing about this particular stretch, it's my favorite running stretch of all time, is because when you come forward, and you see my knees at 90 degrees, or my foot's at 90 degrees, you should feel that stretching here, and when you come back, you have the opportunity to feel it on the front side in the hip flexors. We'll talk a little bit more about hip flexors in a moment. But this is my all-time favorite stretch. You can even, when you bring it back, you can almost try to kick your butt when you come back and get a little bit of quad in there. So you get hamstrings, quads, and hip flexors in one stretch. So that's my favorite one. Um, the, there's variations of that. You can do a figure eight, and you can get a little bit more stretchy. You can do the figure eight one direction and then the other. So one part of the eight here, one part of the eight back. A little bit more uh, of hip mobility with that one. If there's any sort of pain with that, uh, the figure eight, you can just go ahead and put the kibosh on that. That's why I like this one. Very straightforward, very easy. It's great to do before and after your run, but especially before, and make sure you get both legs. Okay, lacrosse ball. That's kind of the next version. Uh, what you can do with the lacrosse ball is you're basically just gonna be rubbing it down your IT band all the way down. The best way to do this and the most painful is to do it on the floor. I said the most painful because you really get great bang for your buck by just working on the floor. IT band. You can also do it with the foam roller. And you're just coming in and you're doing one of these numbers like this. Now with that, you wanna make sure that you're coming all the way up to about your hip and getting it all the way down past your knee. There's a little bump right here called the fibula, that, that very, very top part of the fibula. You wanna make sure that you get that foam roller right across there also, because that's what the IT band actually inserts on. So all the way across. Okay, next one. For the knee itself, there's a little muscle right here called vastus medialis obliquus. When this one gets tight, it often pulls that kneecap tight. So you can certainly do your old school quad stretch, no problem with that, but also get in with that lacrosse ball. It's just a little area right here, and you want to do that on the floor. It's not going to help me to show you how to do that, but can you see that hammock? Can you mm -hmm. zoom in on that? And it doesn't feel super great, but again, you're getting into this area right here to stretch that out. A couple other things that you can do, again, foam roller, we talked about the IT band. You can certainly take it across the front side here of your quad. You can take it across the back side on the, on the hamstring. And then also come across a little bit more of a 45 for the glute, right? Your piriformis is hanging out there. That's a really good one also. If you're not exhausted with running stretches yet, I'll give you the last one. This is for your piriformis. And you're just gonna get down on the floor, just like this, and you're gonna come down. It's commonly called pigeon, I think, with uh, uh, if hands shaking her head, yeah, but, uh, with, the, with the yoga routine, something like this, and you want to get down as far as you can. You can also do it on your back, like that, and I can tell you that the, I'm in need of having that done right now also. Uh, I don't do too much with adductors usually, although you can certainly do adductors after you're done. The static stretching should always be done after, and you're just going to bring your heels towards your inner thigh, just push down. We all did these in middle school, just like the little butterfly things. Um, you just want to, don't want to get too aggressive with this before you run because you actually can tear some muscle and you want to avoid that tearing of the muscle. Okay, uh, these are not approved for everybody, so if you have questions, comments, concerns, consult your doctor, consult me. If I'm a chiropractor, come talk to me in the office, but I hope this was helpful.